Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, this video is gonna be pretty special. Uh, we're actually gonna be talking about gear. Um, not steroids, gear. I got my uh, high speed gear slotted belt that came in actually just today. And then I ordered some taco mags and I have a, a, a dump pouch, I believe it's called, uh, where you can just like put, you know, uh, loose rounds and whatever else. So I'm gonna configure this the belt I got it in Coyote Brown and uh, when you're ordering these kind of belts I guess combat belts whatever you want to call them uh, order a size up so I ordered a XL and um, I'm a pretty big human so this fits me perfectly and uh, I weave through my black uh, EDC belt which is actually fine they even, on the website is said to order a size up above what you order this so basically a double XL belt to fit around this but um I this works fine for me. I can adjust it if I want it looser, uh, tight. Uh, obviously, where I live here, it's gonna get pretty cold here pretty soon. So um, for now though, I'm not in any hoodies. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get this set up the way I like it. I don't know how I'm gonna configure it quite yet. And then uh, we're probably gonna just go to the range and we'll just see the utility of it. And uh, we'll talk more about all that later. But, um, and I'll also talk about why I configured the belt the way I did. And uh, somewhere in the video, I'll probably put other examples of um, the way other people configured their belts. But yeah, I'm really excited. I actually just came back from Vegas, uh, what was it? Wednesday, the 14th. So I ordered all this stuff last week and this belt came in today and then the the molly mags and everything else came in yesterday so i was really excited to do this video for you guys um but yeah we'll talk about everything more in the video but uh we're gonna try getting this set up so we can go to the range before it gets dark here it's about five o'clock so yeah i'm on a little time crunch it gets dark here pretty soon so um yeah uh, if you do enjoy this kind of video or would like to see more gear review you know, I really wouldn't say weapon reviews uh, since my funding isn't the biggest, but uh, if you just want to see more stuff like this, uh, firearm related, um, I do plan on doing more video game content as well with the new COD dropping next month, but I'm going to be ta trying to tailor more towards, you know, uh, gear and uh, firearms. So if you do enjoy that or you think you'd like to see more content, consider liking, sharing, and subbing, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, we're at the range. So the way I did it was I did three single um, nine mil mags um, since I shoot a lot more handgun than AR. So I also do plan on, I have it at home. I just didn't put it on for time's sake. I plan on putting a double stack of a five, five, six right here or right here. And then I have that mag pouch, like I said, which has all my um, loose ammo. So. Yeah, I'm really excited. I've only worn about 10, 15 minutes in this pad. This padded one feels really nice. It's the slotted. So yeah, uh, we're gonna just get some shots in here. I'm gonna do some dry fire quick since it's been a while since I shot. And then uh, we'll jump into it and hopefully we can get some footage. So yeah, see you guys in a little bit. We're putting five in. I've packed my mags five each, so uh, so I have two more here on the belt. As you can see, I have two more here. I'll probably just put 10 rounds through right now, and we'll see. I'm still a little shaky. I haven't shot in like two weeks. So yeah, all right, let's get it. Gun is clear, putting mag in, dropping the slide. Just, sometimes the gun doesn't want to go in battery. It's really weird. I don't know if I need to put a little bit more rounds through it. I think I only have like 200. So, all right, we'll see. Here we go. Let's see if I can hit anything still. Four for five at, uh, I want to say, 12 yards. So, drop this slide. Okay, we're in. So we 
hit three that time. So, ooh, this, uh, what ammo am I using? Hold on. Maybe just because I always use the same nine mil. This uh, Blazer ammunition kind of stinks. Um, I always use Range Dynamics by, uh, who is it? Felici or something? Starts with an F. I'm not 100% sure, but this ammo kind of stinks. So, for not shooting for two weeks, I hit seven out of 10. So, I'm still a little shaky probably on the draw. Um, that's another thing I want to add to the holster, to the um, duty belt, whatever you want to call it, is um, a holster that I can put right here. Uh, right here, so yeah, sorry I can't get like any closer footage here. Uh, it's just by my, I'm just here by myself, so yeah, um, let me just show you the SIG. So it is cool, no mag here, nothing in the, might be a little hard to see with the light, but anyway, there's nothing in the, it's empty. So this is the SIG, it's really nice, I really like it. It's the Custom Works, I think it's a what is it? It's a P320. Um, is it a four inch or a four and a half? I always forget. Four, four and a half. It seems a little longer than than usual. So yeah, uh, I did a little review on it. Uh, I think it came out last week, early Monday, I believe, and today's Friday. Um, so yeah, we're gonna uh, put some more shots downfield, and uh, yeah. This will be a pretty short video. We'll also do a conclusion on the belt if I do anything different. But yeah, uh, we'll just put some more shots down and uh, yeah. I guess while we're here, let me know what other kind of content you guys would like to see. Uh, I know like we can't get any closer footage here just cause it's me by myself. But um, yeah, we're gonna pack some mags here. I guess we could be packing. So I have it all right here, this little, Mag pouch thing, so um, we'll just pack. I'm gonna pack five again, and we'll put it in. But the holster, we'll talk about it more, I guess, when we get back. But I think I have five in here. I just wanna make sure I get enough footage. I think that's four. I'm only gonna be shooting about 100 rounds, I think. Um, about 200, but I think I'm um, more than happy with just shooting uh, 100, so. one that entire time so well on that last mag the uh the first mag i think i missed two or three still a little rusty we'll warm up here i uh, ordered a bunch of more ammo um online so that should come tuesday so we'll have more footage and video so We're gonna try something here. I have two rounds here. I'm gonna shoot one while keeping the gun hot. I'm gonna put in the 10 rounds I have here. So we'll give it a go and uh, see how well we do. All right. Yeah, once I started putting those 10 rounds in, I started leaning back a little bit. So, uh, also, like, I guess that's a good tip. Even if you're, like, a newer shooter, bring your camera. I mean, I have my camera. I had my phone. Just record. Record yourself and look back at the footage, you know? You're not going to know. Kind of like...
kind of like with gameplay too. Um, if you record yourself, you can always critique what you did wrong or why you made that push. So kind of the same thing here, same philosophy. Hey guys, while I was editing, I noticed I really didn't talk about the belt itself or go really in depth about it at the range. So I just wanted to throw this in there. Um, regarding the belt, um, I'm actually blown away. Obviously it is, you know, by the time you get the taco mags, the mat, the dump pouch, the belt itself, you get an EDC belt if you already don't have one. Like this is gonna cost you damn near $300, $350. Um, it definitely is a lot. Um, Obviously the beauty of the belt or like any chest rig if you did go that route is you can add these on You know like for example if you just bought three magazines um, You could always add on more but the the belt itself I'm actually very very impressed like even my initial thoughts like right when you pick it up and you feel it uh, Unfortunately like where I live I don't have anywhere like to test it or like you know you just have to order it and uh, And just try it out for yourself um, I'm actually blown away the material it's a uh, I thought I was gonna, though it's not like, I haven't put like a lot of weight on it. You know, three mags of, f full of nine millimeter and then 50 to 100 rounds on the mag pouch. Like the pad, I think the pad really makes it a big difference compared to the other belt they sell. I can't think of the name, but I really like the padded one. Um, I didn't go with the laser cut. Um, as you can see, they have a, they have two different kinds of padded, padded belts. The just the regular one and then I believe it's like lasered so like it's easier to weave through um, I think it's only a $10 difference uh, this belt retails for $125 and then I really don't remember the mag pouch 50 55 you know I really don't remember all these prices but I do remember the belt was 125 plus shipping plus tax um, and I believe the laser the laser cut one is like I said $10 more but yeah Anyway, I believe high speed, this is a phenomenal belt for, you know, the money I paid. This is gonna last me forever, you know, plus their lifetime guarantee. I really don't know, like the material, the weaving, the quality, you know, you can just feel quality when you pick it up. So um, if you're indecisive between going through like a chest rig, like I was kind of thinking versus a belt, um, a belt is really nice. You know, the thing is like granted, you know, if you do have a chest rig, you know, putting it over a hoodie or something like that. Like this is easy. I just clip it around my waist. Um, the only thing I would change is, uh, obviously this is just personal preference is I'm gonna change the EDC belt. I ordered a Coyote one. Uh, but for now, you know, the adjustability, you know, you just pull this up and you can adjust it. Um, regarding like putting these on, they were a little confusing for me since I've never done something like this. So like I had to rewatch the high speed video like four or five times trying to understand. Uh, but once you figure it out, it's really easy to put them on. I think taking them off is going to be pain in the ass, but uh, they stay on securely. Like as you can see, like even like jiggling or running, like they're not going anywhere. And like these pouches stay in place very well. Um, so yeah, they're not gonna go anywhere. Like, they're in there. You know, you can wiggle upside down. They're in there, very secured. I believe these are the taco mags. I think they have two different variants. They have just like, yeah, they have like the the one that uses Velcro and then this one. The retention is very good. Obviously, as you when I just did the shake test, nothing really falls out. So yeah, overall, the belt I'm actually blown away with. Uh, quality is top notch. Like. I think this belt could last me forever um, and like the configuration you can do with all this I'll put actually a couple pictures of some other um, setups I've kind of seen regarding belts um, it's just really nice and the brown you know speaking of the color coyote brown here as you can see it's like not too brown not too light I think it's like perfect and this mag pouch this is really really nice I actually liked it more than I anticipated to um, you know, and then you can also, for suspenser, suspenders, I believe these are what these are for. So, you know, if you're wearing like pants or whatever, I'm not really 100% sure on that. And then I guess lastly, and then lastly, I just want to talk about the reason why. Like why, as a civilian, you know, like don't, don't think like I'm an operator or something like that. A lot of respect to those guys, but you know, that's not me. I'm just a civilian um, because I can and I, I want to train with it, you know. But I guess the moral of the story is, if you can't afford like 
if you know if you're thinking about ammo or gear I would always recommend 100% ammo over gear because you know this this is no good if you can't afford ammo you know like they just hold your shit then um, so yeah I would always recommend buying ammo and saving up for this just like I did you know you got to just save up for it and it's an investment you know especially when you're out in the boonies or whatever and you're you don't want to just put fucking all your though putting you you know your your ammo in in your back pockets or front pockets of jeans but this is a lot more convenient and plus when you put like a side holster here it's just going to be really nice so you know the reason why is because i can and i want to train with it and uh it's just another tool in your arsenal that is gonna help you so i don't know if this is like a little rant or not but you know don't don't hesitate to buy gear like this even if you're a civilian you know if i you know if i do it then anyone else can too um it just uh it's just a uh, convenient it's a very convenient thing um and i see nothing wrong with civilians being armed and knowing how to use you know their tools carefully so yeah i don't know if that was a little bit of a rant or not but uh yeah and lastly guys consider subscribing there's 80 percent who are not subscribed so if we get get that number up a little bit i'd appreciate it a lot and then lastly i will be doing a more in-depth review you know talk seeing how it handles uh after i put you know a couple more hundred hours in the belt and uh with winter coming we'll see how it handles i assume it's going to do phenomenal but anyway uh, if you did enjoy the video consider liking sharing and uh i'll see you guys in the next one